What's going on everyone? I'd like to welcome you back to the House of Gerald and I've got a new product to review for you. So I've been a fan of Nomadic for a little while now ever since I got the Peter and McKinnon camera bag and I got to looking at other products they offer and I thought that maybe just maybe I could use a few of them. So in shopping around I really like the idea of these. This is the Nomadic compression packing cube. So essentially what it is as you can see by the pictures you can pack a whole bunch of stuff into these little cubes and make it really organized really well inside your luggage. They make three different sizes. They got small, medium, and large. What I did was I ordered two of the medium. There's a specific reason why I ordered medium and not the other sizes, and I will show you that later in the video. But for now, this is the bag. So the medium is 11 and a half inches tall by seven and three quarter inches wide. It's only about two and a half inches thick. And so what you do, if you look in here, as you open this up, and you can fit all kinds of clothes in here. But it doesn't look like a whole bunch of space, right? Well, here comes the piece de resistance, if you will. You unzip this other zipper, and magically, this two and a half inch thick bag becomes, I don't know, five inches or so? Look at this, look how much space is in this thing. There's a lot of space in here to put a lot of clothing. I am willing to bet you could probably fit at least four nights worth of clothes in here. I'm assuming summertime, you know, t-shirt, short socks, underwear, nothing, you know, long sleeve, not, nothing like that. I'm just talking about t-shirts, underwear, and socks, you know, the, the main items. I'm willing to bet between the two of these, I could probably fit four nights in here. We'll see shortly. If you'll notice, the top is actually like a mesh. So it's completely permeable. Air can escape. So the idea is, you zip it closed, the top, and then this is still undone when it's all packed. And what you do, if I can find the end, is you take this zipper and you zip it around all the way. And now it compresses all that clothing into a tight little package. Um, I have yet to see it work. We're gonna try it out. But for comparison, I thought I'd show you. I'll take one and expand it and the other one not and you can just see the size difference. Here's expanded. And here's not expanded. As you can see, it's kind of hard to tell. There's actually quite a bit of difference. This is, right now it's about an inch because there's nothing in it, but it's, if you actually straighten it out, it's about two, two and a half inches. And this is much larger. Actually, this is closer to almost six inches. It's pretty amazing. I do want to say that the quality seems pretty good. It's like a, it reminds me of a tent. It's like a nylon poly kind of, I don't know what material it is. But if you look on the inside, it's kind of shinier, almost like it's moisture proof. I don't know that it is. I mean, it's not gonna do much, this is wide open, but it's almost like if it sat down in something, maybe your clothes wouldn't get wet, maybe? I don't know. I don't know if it's actually waterproof or water resistant, but it gives you the feeling that like it is. Um, zippers are good. It does have the, you know, tied knot, and then it's got like heat shrink on the end of it, like a really thick heat shrink. This isn't like electrical, this is really thick. Really nice pulls. The zippers seem to work really well. So I think we got good things going here. So without further ado, let's go try it out. Let's see how much we can actually fit in here. Like I said, I, I, I bet we could do four days. Let's, let's find out if I can. If you can do four, maybe we'll even try more. So I guess enough jaw jacking. Let's go and uh, see what we can come up with. All right, this is my first pack job of the two nomadic compression cubes. These are the medium size. So my plan is to see if these little guys can fit enough for four nights, minus shorts or a pair of pants or a jacket. I just wanna see if they'll fit four t-shirts, four pairs of underwear, and four pairs of socks. I am a 2XL, so these are larger shirts than probably most people. So I'm gonna see if I can fit all of this into these two bags. So the first step, is to take these shirts and roll them much like the underwear are because they'll fit better into the inside of this bag, as you can see. If I open this up, you can fit these perfectly inside here, much like so. So my idea is if I roll these shirts up, I should be able to fit four of them in here with relative ease. Well, let's find out. Okay. I've got all four shirts rolled up nice and neat, and I rolled them fairly tight so to make sure to get as much air out of them as I can. I also have the four pairs of underwear and the four socks. 
These are little booty socks. They're little short ones. They're not full size because I'm assuming this is for summertime. If it's winter, obviously you're carrying heavier shirts, heavier socks, maybe even heavier underwear. So it's gonna change the whole dynamics. I'm packing this for a summer trip, assuming you're going for four nights and assuming you're wearing shorts or pants. So the first step on here, in addition to opening the top, what you'll notice, if I can find it, is there's a zipper here. You take this zipper and you unzip it and as you can see, the bag expands. It expands quite a bit. So, here's my experiment. Let's see if I can fit all of these shirts inside of here. And you fit them in here like so. And just like that. The next step is to take and zip it closed. Right? But you notice it's pretty thick. Well, the idea is, you can take this and you can zip this compression part. Making sure to push the inside so it doesn't come up and get stuck in the zipper. Just kind of follow with your finger a little bit. Make it a little tough depending on how tight you have this packed. And there it is. There it is. Four t-shirts, nice and neatly packed inside of this little compression cube. So next, to do the same thing with the undergarments. So, as you can see, I already have the top open. We're gonna take, unzip the compression portion, and then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take the underwear, roll them up, pack them in here, and then theoretically, these four, because they're relatively small, should fit perfectly. Oh, just like that, look at that. Okay, now do the same thing. Zip that closed, and then, just like the other one, let's go through here and zip the compression. And just like that, we have a fully packed set for two nights day. As you saw in the video, I have this packed for four nights. This is four pairs of t-shirts, and here's four pairs of socks, small socks, and four pairs of boxer brief underwear. This is really loose, especially the underwear one. This is really, really loose. As you can see, if I go like this and expand this, there's actually quite a bit of room still in there. I mean, it's really, really loose. I'm almost positive I could fit more in here. And you know, the same goes for this guy. If I uncompress the t-shirts, there's still quite a bit of room in here. I don't know if you could see that, but there's a large gap in here. I mean, it's at least an inch, maybe a little bit more. I'm almost willing to bet that you could at least fit one more night in here, maybe two. I have an idea. Let's find out. I don't know if you noticed, but there was actually relative ease when I was doing the compression portion, especially with the underwear and socks. This was very, very lightly packed. My thought is I might actually be able to fit another night's stay in these bags. So that's one more t-shirt in here, one more pair of underwear, and one more pair of socks. Now I'm gonna do it a little differently because of the you know height and width restrictions. So what I'll do is I'll start with the underwear and socks. First thing I'm gonna do is uncompress this. So now I get a whole bunch more room. See how loose that is? There is a ton of space still inside this bag. So my thought is if I take this, open it up, and I take the socks, but I don't have them rolled up like I do here. I just have them individual. I just set them right on top. And then the same with the underwear undo them, right? And just kind of fold them in half, much like so, and fit them in here. So, now I take that and close it, and then the same thing. I just come right down here and I start compressing this. It's a little tougher, but mostly because it's actually still really loose. And so there's not a lot of structure here, so it, the zipper's having a hard time zipping, which tells me I could actually probably fit even more. And there it is, I mean, there's five sets in there now. Let's do the same thing with the t-shirts. So, open this guy up, much like that. Actually, I did it backwards, but it doesn't matter. We'll go ahead and uncompress it, and then this will lift up. Look at that. Look at all that space I have in there. I actually have, you know, probably that much space inside of here. So, we'll take a t-shirt, and this time, instead of rolling it up, what I'll do is kind of fold it much like a retail store would and fit it right on top, just like that. And we'll zip this closed, and just like the other one, we'll compress it, and look at that. It's still going really, really easy. That tells me 
theoretically, I probably have enough for maybe another shirt. I don't want to push it because I don't want to damage this, but <laughs> it's a little bulky, but look at that. There is enough for five, that's five nights. It's five t-shirts, five pairs of underwear, and five pairs of socks in two little bags. That's cool. All right, so here's the final product. Packed with five shirts. Like I said, it was pretty easy to pack. You could probably actually fit a little bit more in here, but I didn't want to push it. I was afraid you might actually burst the seams if you put too much in here. But I mean, you could really, if you put weight on here, you could actually probably compress this a little bit more. That's pretty sweet. I'll show you the difference here. We'll take this one, right? This is one that's all compacted down. This is all my uh, underwear and socks. And we'll take this guy. And we'll open it all the way up. I mean, look at the size difference. You can see that this is way larger than this. That's a huge difference that this makes by compressing. I'm very impressed. If you get a chance, even if you don't have the rest of the nomadic products, I'd get this guy, the compression packing tube. Like I said, this is the medium size. I don't know if you can see the size on there, but it's 11 and a half inches tall by seven and three quarter inches wide. They do make a large and they make a small version of these. So by now you're wondering why I got these. I actually have a plan for them. So here we have the Peter McKinnon Nomadic Camera Bag. So as you might recall from other reviews and whatnot, the top part of this bag, if you open it up, is the travel portion of the bag. You're supposed to put your clothing in here. It has these compression straps so that you can actually hold it down. And then you can fit accessories and whatnot in here as well as in here, you got pockets. Well, I did some measuring and I found that these Q packs, if you get the medium sized, will fit perfectly inside here, just like so. Actually, I'm gonna do this the opposite. I'll show you why in a minute. But I still have this pack for five nights. So you're wondering, well, how does that fit in there? Well, I'll show you. First thing I'm gonna do is just lay this flap here because on the side of the Peter McKinnon bag, there's actually a zipper here. It comes all the way around. And what that does is it actually allows this to expand quite a bit. So question is, will this for five nights here, you know what? We'll even do it better. We'll do this. So I'm gonna reduce this a little bit. So this should theoretically, let me see here, I'll get it all the way, just like so. And actually, I'm not gonna go very high on that because I doubt I'll ever pack that much in here. I'm just seeing if you can. So I've got that down. Now I'm gonna come down here and go like this. And look at that. Look at that. Everything fits perfectly, all because of this expansion joint. It makes a large bag, don't get me wrong, but that's with all my camera gear and all my clothing for five nights. The only thing I don't have is like a jacket, long sleeve shirt, that kind of stuff. So you might actually take out the five nights, maybe make it down to three nights, and then you can fit a lot more stuff in here. And there's still room. So if you saw, if I open this, there's still room down here. Up here there's room, right here there's room, right here there's room. Um, a thought is I could actually take this and move it this way. It will still fit, much like so. And then I have this room and this room, I could put toothbrush, deodorant, all that stuff in here. I wouldn't probably pack this side very much because of the limited space, um, because this is taking up an immense amount of space. Remember, this is five night, but I still have all this room. That's pretty sweet. So I figure instead of talking about it, how about we do it? This is my old travel bag. In here, I have toothbrush holder, fits perfectly. I have a full size toothpaste. I'm gonna fit that in here, much like so. What else can I fit in here? Let's say deodorant, right? Okay, we'll fit that in here. I'll put it like that. And then whatever else. I still actually have a little bit of space, but just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna tighten this up. It is a little tight up here because I have it lengthwise, but it still fits. And look at that, there it is. That's literally everything I need for five nights. And it fits like a glove. That is an amazing bag, and these compression packing cubes, medium size, are awesome. This is just so cool. Look at that. Look how perfectly that fits. That is amazing. Good job, Nomadic. Very good job. As you can see by the pictures, there's a lot of options you can do with this. You can pack it in multiple different ways. I mean, it's pretty genius design. Good job, Nomadic. And Peter McKinnon on the camera bag, because these were great inside that. Good job, guys.